half cat, half gat. Okay, here I am again at my kitchen table, pretending to know what I'm talking about, and also getting some time to show off my gun collection, which I love to do. Anyway, today I'm going to be going over real quick the GSG Firefly. Is it worth buying? I personally will tell you very shortly. Um, GSG sp stands for German Sports Guns. Um, and if you know anything about the Germans, they are very good at a few things. Sounding aggressive when they speak. Uh, mass genocide of people based on their religious beliefs. And making firearms. Although I guess these firearms are not intended for genocidal purposes, um, as they're typically all chambered in 22. Uh, German sports guns started their whole thing in 2002, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe they were partially responsible for the Sig Sauer Mosquito. Um, and if you know anything about the Sig Sauer Mosquito, uh, my run-ins with them were never great. I always thought they were kind of pieces of shit, but this my friends, is substantially better than that. Um, and I'll show you a few things just so you can make sure that I'm not lying. Look, made in Germany. And as you can see, it's empty. The magazine is empty. I'll go over the mag real quick. One of the things I kind of like about the mag is... Uh, Obviously, this is chambered in 22. They also make, German Sports Guns makes a ton of different, interesting uh, replica sort of guns and pistols and rifles that are all chambered in 22. If I'm not mistaken, they make a 1911 that's in 22, and they don't run into much uh, legal trouble for that because it's 22. You know, not really a big deal. And I'll tell you, uh, just real quick about the magazine before I get off trailing. So as you can see, it has these little levers or handles on the side. So whenever you're loading, you could literally just like, you know, it helps you to uh, mitigate the spring tension down here as you're loading rounds into it. Now, before you get excited thinking that, oh man, that's a big mag. It's, on, it's only a 10 round magazine, which is okay for what this thing is intended to do. Um, and really it's just for planking. I, I suppose you could use it for small game hunting because, let me tell you, this thing is fucking accurate. Um, a few other features about this thing, it's got a threaded barrel, which is pretty neat because there are a few different attachments you can put on the end of this thing and one of those is going to be this guy and it is a flash suppressor. So this is not, as you can see, there's no insulation, nothing like that. This is just to hide flash. Yes, though. Uh, anyway, flash suppressor. So when you fire this thing, and it's going to be pretty simple. As you can see, this threaded end has um, has the fitting so you can actually use like just a, a wrench to open this thing up. And when you take it off, you're going to have threads, obviously. This end goes on, and no one sees any flash. It does make it kind of long. And I... I um, I gotta say, I don't think it affects the accuracy at all. Um, but if anything, again, if you're shooting at night or if you're doing an early morning small game hunt, then this is actually going to be a pretty good idea because, again, no small creatures will see where you're coming from. If you're, say, squirrel or rabbit, something like that, um, they'll hear this. But again, it's going to be quiet because, as you know, 22 is kind of like, you know, it's pretty quiet on its own. The other benefit of this flash suppressor is going to be that if you decide to test this, be my guest and let me know how it goes, but I've heard that Aguila, the super quiet ammo, if you combine, if you put some into this magazine, load it into this pistol, and attach this flash suppressor, it's virtually non-audible, like movie quiet, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, the other thing, oh, and I'll, I'll get in to just all the features on the thing. So as you can see, slide release here, and it's smooth, it's super smooth. One of the things I'm gonna have to recommend that you do before you decide to uh, take this out, because I bought this brand new, and I saw some videos of people getting upset because 
it was jamming and all this and that. Well, I, I watched these people remove it from the box and never clean it once. Clean your fucking guns before you decide to uh, start shooting them. Because it's not going to do you any good otherwise. And as you can see, ambidextrous safety. Pretty nice. For all you left-handed freaks out there. Um, and then, as you can see, the hammer's cocked. It is a hammer-fired pistol. Um, and this is your your uh, hammer release. So, pretty neat. It feels really good in the hand. It's full size. And it's super easy to get apart. Um, I guess I could show you how to do that real quick. The only downside to these uh, pistols, and I'm going to tell you this because I don't want you to buy this and buy a bunch of CCI and not be able to fire it. <laughs> if you go with a low velocity, basically if you buy anything that's 36 grains and you try to shoot it out of this gun, it's going to function as a single action um, a single action pistol, honestly, because it's not going to cycle the slide to chamber your next round. What you're going to have to do is go with 40 grain or high velocity 22 regardless and it should run smooth. I've never had any hiccups. As a matter of fact, I've, uh, this thing will shoot the dick off a fly at 25 yards pretty easily. Um, I highly recommend them. I do think they're worth buying. And I think they're actually pretty good looking too. Um, and again, they, uh, German sports guns had something to do with the Sig Sauer Mosquito. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get this apart. So, as you can see, pretty fair. Take down lever. You're going to flip that over. You're going to pull this back all the way and then pull up. Now you can see how this thing goes together. Um, very simple, very easy to get apart, very quick to clean, very accurate, very nice, very light. It feels really good in the hand. Um, and firing the 22, it just feels perfect. Again, German sports guns has started in 2002, and here we are, you know, damn near at the end of the world, 2020, and they're still putting these things out in mass numbers. Again, these things are also very affordable, which is sweet. Um, I want to say this thing came in at around 200 and some change. That may be different now because of, you know, uh, your boy Biden and Koof and big riot boys but anyway aside from that i i highly recommend these these pistols they're very good uh, very reliable very smooth to shoot um and again they have other options to look at i mean it's not like this is the only gun that they're manufacturing it is a very popular one as you can see i got those bananas back there for the ak um but they have plenty of options to look at and i'll tell you um, I've considered buying a few others, but for the, the climate that we're currently living through, I am more inclined to build more rifles than I am to buy more 22 LR, as that's also become hard to find, as you can now see in fumbling over this thing. But um, it has proven to be a very good purchase. I'd put it up there past the Mosquito, in fact. I, I think that this thing is substantially better than the six hour mosquito um, and they're made by the same Nazi scum so you know that they're reliable and whenever you're putting this thing back together as I don't know if I even captured that it would be super simple bait my shit now just run it back by you as you can see I'll be better, I'll be better for you folks as you can see, and I'm not pointing this at myself, there's a little channel. You're going to set down this guy. It's going to sit down in there. You're going to put your spring down. Obviously, your spring's going to go right in here. If it's even picking up. And your barrel's going to go right back where a barrel would fucking go in a pistol. If you can't figure that out, well... Grow the fuck up. And then, once you have it back in one piece, what you're going to do is pull the hammer back, and it'll slide back into place. Flip your lever. 
and hit your decock and you're good. The sights on this thing are also very ideal. Um, they're kind of black on yellow, you know, so you can pick up shit real well. But again, yeah, overall, buy it. If you got 200 bucks and you don't have a 22 pistol that semi-automatic feels good, looks good, then do buy it. Um, I would buy several more if I wasn't so concerned that uh, ARs and AKs are going to be out of the line pretty soon here. So the other cool thing before I let y'all go, rail on the bottom here, you can put a flashlight, a laser. I had a laser on there. Um, and really, I don't think you're going to need much else. I mean, th again, this isn't self-defense pistol, but it is good for walking through the woods if you're going to be, you know, looking for small game or just plinking. It's a very good gun. Anyway, thanks for watching.